Hey, what's going on? It's Terry from WebSpark. That right there is one of the best projectors you can get on a budget. The BenQ W1070 or the 1080 ST. My unit has one problem though. It overheats and shuts down. I've tried everything from cleaning the fans, changing the lamp unit, and even leaving the cover off, but nothing worked. I even got those mini aluminium heat sinks which actually prolonged the usage time, but it didn't fix the problem. This is why I decided to take things to the next level and install a CPU heat sink. The one I will be using is the T2 from Cooler Master. I chose this heat sink because of its price and lightweight since we're going to stick this upside down on the projector. We begin by removing the cover from the projector. The gray area you see is the replacement lamp unit. It's also the hottest part of the entire projector. Fortunately, there's enough flat surface to stick our heat sink on. I'm going to remove the mini heat sink stickers I had on previously and clean the surface with rubbing alcohol. Next, I'm going to align the heat sink on top of the lamp unit to make sure that there's actually enough space. I won't be using the fan this time, but I'll keep it safe in case we need to use it later on. So I'm going to peel off the protective seal and clean the heat sink unit. Here I'm applying thermal paste that came with the heat sink, using as little as possible. Spread it out nice and evenly. Finally, we're going to apply some super glue along the edges of the heat sink. Flip the heat sink and press it flush against the lamp unit and let it dry. Behold, the ultimate passive cooling for a projector. After this tweak, I've been using this projector 2-3 hours a day for about a month and it hasn't even shut down once. I was going to use hot glue at first but realized that the heat will make the adhesives come off so I went with super glue instead. We don't want this falling on anyone's head. Despite the cover being opened, the ambient noise didn't really make much difference. Uh, the heat sink will get quite hot during use so it's recommended to keep it out of reach. The same reason why it won't turn on when the cover is off. You need to have the safety button pressed for it to operate. Uh, in my case, I found a screw of the appropriate size so I screwed that into the safety slot. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.